Uh, we're going to have a concert today for Compton Heights Band, uh, featuring Beverly Stewart Anderson and Kazubi. And right now we're going to start building the stage from the front to the back. From the stage out front of the stage, I'm going to put everybody in here. 62 people will be on the stage at one time as we build it. And hopefully we can get them all to fit. <laughs> Who makes up that plot? Uh, Harry Sugger makes this up. He makes this plan up from the dimensions that we have, and he figures them all in, who's coming, who's not coming, how many people we need for certain sections, instruments, and how they fit in here accordingly. Hopefully, space between so the sound comes between everybody and has them tiered to come out. Hopefully, it comes out that way. So I think I now I've been doing this. This might be my my 26th or 27th year, and uh, we have evolved from a, a little tiny system to now a fairly large one to accommodate uh, all aspects. And uh, you know we uh, we get here and uh, we have a, a pretty decent uh, road crew that sets up the staging, all the platforms, music stands, and all that kind of thing. And then all the audio, uh, you know, you generally will come in a smaller van. And we just take it uh, one step at a time. So we still do the uh, Francis Park on Sundays over there in, in St. Louis Hills. And then, of course, uh, this is our, our, our base of operations, Cargo Park. Of course, Harry has been with them. I think they just celebrated their, their the band itself 25 years. That's a long time for a community group. Hey Park Ranger, this is Bud with Compton Heights Band. Uh, can you flip our power on? And the uh, the uh, breaker box is already open, so uh, I guess we're good there. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Looks like Poncho, system engineer, has arrived. Do or die, yeah. usually oh. near death. Do or die or near death. Well, it's not raining yet, but they say we might get some showers later on, so we'll see what happens here. But uh, anyway, I talked to Brian, he says he's going to give me like an 8-foot table and I'm going to set it up out here and I brought the 24-channel Mackie and some effects units and equalizers and stuff and some splitter snakes, so I think we'll be prepared that we can hook up with the video guys and the audio guys and everything should be pretty good. I have a pop-up that we'll uh, uh, set up uh, over the mixing uh, area, or as they say in the real world, uh, audio land. Yes. <laughs> audio land. Front of house. Front of house. Today, we're going to have a, 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 a an attempt at breaking a Guinness Book of World Records endeavor, and which means, or translates to, we will have uh, the most kazoos ever played at one specific location. They're expecting 5,000. Largest numbers never did the paperwork properly. Smaller numbers, you know, didn't get accepted because somebody else got larger numbers. So it's, we, we try to break records, but it's not all about breaking the record. It's really all about having fun. You know, music is to entertain and, and when people can get involved in it and kind of kazoo along, it's just that much more fun. That's why we do it. I said it's going to be over there. But a concert's over there. Over there. Yeah, the band is going to be over there. Yeah, yeah. But during the, uh, all the other activities will be, be over here. Yeah, yeah.